It's time for Around the Ozarks News, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, 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 only Sarah Foreheads today flying solo. Ethan is in North Carolina with Convoy of Hope. As you know, the southeastern coastline is not in good shape. So thankful that he's there and helping some people who are in pretty desperate need. All right, here's a look at your news for today. A man from Illinois who was wanted was arrested in Branson just hours prior. He had been granted a pretrial release and then he cut off his GPS tracker on his ankle and took off to Branson. He was wanted for domestic battery in Quincy, Illinois. Police were able to quickly track him down and arrest him there in Branson. Springfield Base Convoy of Hope, we mentioned it just now, they are continuing to respond in six states following Hurricane Helene. Convoy has now delivered more than 100 semi-truckfuls of food, water, hygiene items, and much more to hurricane survivors. We know that tens of thousands of people are still without power and hundreds are still considered missing. Oh, it's terrible. That's in North Carolina. By the way, Convoy's field headquarters is set up in Asheville. Uh, Even that hurricane response continues, but you may have seen that there is another hurricane brewing out in the Atlantic uh, aiming toward Florida. So that is the evolving situation. You can check that out online and on the TV as forecasters are tracking another one eyeing the coastline. Wow. All right. Uh, Switching gears now, Halloween is coming up in about three weeks, and this year there is a change when it comes to trick-or-treating. A federal judge has ruled that Missouri's Halloween law is unconstitutional. Very interesting. Uh, So that means convicted sex offenders will not have to put a sign in their yard that reads no candy and no treats like they have had to do previously. They no longer have to do that. Convicted sex offenders are still not allowed to interact with kids and they cannot keep their porch light on on Halloween. Uh, But again, the previous law was ruled unconstitutional. All right, police in Battlefield taught citizens how to protect themselves in a shooting situation. The class was free and open to the public to educate people about the best way to be safe if someone starts shooting where you are. Yikes. Um, Needed information these days, right? The Battlefield Police Department is planning to offer more of these types of classes. Springfield Public Schools is now better connected with fiber. 60 facilities with SPS are online with fiber from Mediacom Business. SPS is using the FCC's E-Rate program, which helps schools and libraries afford the expense of broadband. Uh, This is a cool uh, story. Some hearty meals for those in need, because sometimes they just take snacky type foods, whatever they can get. But this is a program that will allow them to get more home cooked and just hearty, healthier meals. Uh, Yeah. So if you have ever heard of Springfield Community Gardens, they do great work. And um, if there is a meal at a hospital that doesn't get eaten for any reason, like, you know, chicken strips, hamburgers, um, before it goes bad, they now have the ability to freeze it and to then give it to Springfield Community Gardens, who then can distribute it to people who are on hard times. Pretty cool. A grant is even providing the opportunity for kids who are in the Springfield Community Gardens programming the chance to learn about food waste and food insecurity. Those kids are helping package meals at the hospital that will get then go out to the people who are in need. Evangel University's new arena is now open. What an exciting weekend there. The school held a big dedication ceremony as part of its homecoming festivities this weekend. The AG Financial Arena is a 71,000 square feet building. That arena can seat 1,500 and includes a training center inside. The Evangel Valor won their homecoming football game 41 to 3 over Avila Eagles. Go, Valor, go. Uh, All right. If you are a Mizzou fan, it was not so great. The Missouri Tigers came into the weekend as the number nine ranked team in the nation, but they will not start that way today. They got routed by number 25, Texas A&M, 41 to 10. Uh, Football analysts say that the Tigers have been 
exposed. That was their word. Uh, they will have a chance to rebound next week against a one in five University of Massachusetts. Meanwhile, the Missouri State Bears had a bye week this weekend, so no football game. They will take on their three game winning streak to Illinois State on Saturday. Go Bears, go. Uh, also, the Kansas City Chiefs will take on the New Orleans Saints on Monday Night Football at Arrowhead. All right, speaking of the Chiefs, this is week six, so don't forget that we are playing the Branson Bowl. You can find the contest at AroundTheOzarks.com. It is free to enter. It's super easy to do. And you can enter your name to win Chiefs tickets to their home game at Arrowhead. Um, so this week's keyword, you need this. You go to AroundTheOzarks.com, click on the Branson Bowl, and then it will ask you a keyword to prove that you've been listening to ATO. Are you ready for the keyword? Ethan does this so much better than me. But the keyword is trolleys. T-R-O-L-L-E-Y-S. That's the keyword. You're going to need to know it. This week's prize is tickets to the November 4th game versus Tampa Bay. So if you want to go to that ball game at Arrowhead, the Chiefs versus Tampa Bay, mark your calendar right now for November 4th because somebody has to win tickets. There is someone out there listening right now who's going to be a winner of those tickets. So mark down the, the game on your calendar so you don't double book yourself. Um, and then you're also going to win some Branson official vacation destination of the Kansas City Chiefs custom gear. So that's super fun. And um, you know what? You might already know this, but um, our lovely boss over at Midwest Family Radio said, by the way, don't forget that Kansas City versus Tampa Bay is a rematch of Super Bowl 55. So time for some revenge. There you go. It'll be a fun game. November 4th, you can win tickets right now. Keyword trolleys. Check it out at aroundtheozarks.com. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I hope that Ethan is back soon, but I tell you what, Convoy of Hope is doing really good work there, but it is catastrophic. Um, I have been kind of glued to the news because that's what I do. And it is... Um, of biblical proportions, you could say. It's unbelievable how far inland it went. Um, yeah, so if you can help, do that. You should, because it's it's pretty devastating for a whole lot of people, especially when you consider many of them are still without power, and then you consider that there's still another hurricane brewing. So lots of factors, compounding factors. But uh, we sure do appreciate you listening, and uh, God bless you. We hope you have a great work week. And I, if not someone else, maybe two of us, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Until then, have a really good day. It is Ryan here and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. If you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. Choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Rescue Towing, Command Family Medicine, and John's Heating and Air. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your new work week. It's going to be a beautiful start to the week here in the Ozarks. We've got temperatures in the upper 40s as of 5 a.m. today, and numbers are only climbing to the mid 70s. So significantly cooler across the Ozarks today than uh, what we had over the weekend. What was up with that? It felt more like summertime. In fact, I saw on social media, a lot of friends in the Ozarks posting that they were taking advantage of the summer-like weather and hitting the pools that are still open in a few communities. And it was certainly hot enough to do that. Others, well, out at the ball game or something on Saturday morning, you probably had to use sunscreen. Again, it was hot across the Ozarks. We had a UV index and high temperatures near 90 degrees. Just a scorcher of a weekend. Cold front came through on Sunday, and now we are enjoying much nicer weather across the region with uh, nothing but sunshine. 
pretty much. That's what's in our forecast today. It was a little bit breezy yesterday as the front came through and winds continued to linger behind that frontal boundary. That will also be the case today. In fact, in the forecast, even though I have sunny skies, we have a northeast wind in the forecast today at about 10 miles an hour. At times that could gust closer to 15. So it will be breezy it will be sunny and we'll see a high temperature of about 74 here in Springfield. Cold front is now well to our south and we are left with high pressure pretty much smack dab over the Midwest. It means a whole lot of sunshine for a wide portion of the country. And while we are enjoying this nice weather, once again, we are talking tropical weather with Hurricane Milton down in the Gulf. That's what developed in the tropics over the weekend. The Gulf totally primed for tropical weather because of the high temperatures there. The water temperature is so incredibly warm. It leads to this really unstable environment. So when you get low pressure to develop in that region, storms can just really kind of take off and gain strength as they do so. In fact, yesterday, Milton upgraded to hurricane force winds a little bit ahead of schedule. And this could potentially hit the United States as another major hurricane meeting category three or above this week. West coast of Florida expecting that impact, but it's going to track all over central Florida as well. Florida already bracing for some of those uh, impacts and definitely preparations are underway. For us here in the Ozarks, no rain is in sight. While they are talking about heavy rain, in fact, torrential rain and flooding, a huge concern for our friends to the southeast. Of course, they already had a whole lot of water this spring fall. And we are expecting another round of heavy rain. Even before Milton gets there, there could be flooding problems. So storm surge is going to be just an absolute doozy there on uh, the West coast of Florida by midweek. Fire weather conditions are expected here in the Ozarks. Well, they're dealing with the extra wet weather. We just have totally dry conditions and it's so dry. In fact, relative humidity is so low that we're going to be talking about some fire weather concerns here in the Ozarks. When you combine the dry air with the gusty winds and the dry ground, the drought conditions that we have on going across the Ozarks, it's really a bad combination that can lead to high fire danger for the Ozarks as we head into the fall season. The drought is going to deepen across the area where there is already a swath of moderate to severe drought back in our western counties. That's where conditions are worse and rainfall looks very scarce for the next seven to even 10 days. The first half of October shaping up to be very dry. Temperatures will remain near normal for now in the extended forecast. So at least we got rid of some of the high heat, but we do have winds today gusting to 10 to 15 miles an hour with humidity only at about 20%. So fire danger uh, is going to be a topic as we head into the next couple of days. Today, I told you 74 degrees for the Springfield area. That's cooler than will be for the rest of the week, but tomorrow's not bad either. I think high temperatures will still land in the upper 70s on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we could be back to the low 80s, but that's not too far off of average for us for this time of the year. Around the country, all eyes on Florida as Hurricane Milton strengthens and continues to head toward Florida. This is expected to move on the West Coast near the Tampa area. There have already been some talk of evacuations from the Sarasota area all the way down through Tampa and much of the West Coast. So folks there are already preparing the home, getting ready to leave should they go under an evacuation order. And uh, we are certainly going to be watching that situation closely this week. While that's going on on the East Coast, on the West Coast, we are still talking about high fire danger and record-breaking heat for parts of Southern California and for parts of the desert Southwest. We are talking about dry and windy conditions with high fire danger. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia question for the day. Uh, the question that I had for you yesterday was, what is Homer Simpson's middle name? And uh, if you listened to the show yesterday, you may have heard, well, the options started with A, J, and that is correct. Uh, my husband overheard me talking about this question, <laughs> and he said, you should have made some of the other options start with J, because he knew it was Homer J. Simpson, but he thought J was just an initial, not the actual name J. Uh and it is J, like J-A-Y is the correct answer. So congrats if that was your guess. Uh, that is the correct answer. And it was actually a tribute to the Simpsons creator, Matt 
Gronig chose this name to tribute to Jay Ward. He was the cartoon producer who created Bullwinkle, uh, Jay Moose, and Rocket Jay. It, uh, the middle name of Homer Simpson is revealed not until season 10, episode 6 of The Simpsons. Um, in that episode, Homer and Grandpa travel to Homer's mother's old commune to learn his middle name, which is indeed Jay. So congrats if that was your guess. All right, here's the question that I'll leave you with for tomorrow. What is the world's largest reptile? Do you think it is A, the Burmese python, B, the saltwater crocodile, C, the Komodo dragon, or D, the giant tortoise? Let me know what you think. No Googling, that takes all the fun out of it. But if you get a correct answer, you could win 50 bucks to Habaneros on South Campbell. So might as well enter. It is free to do so. You can do that at aroundtheozarks.com. Thank you so much to John's Heating and Air, Command Family Medicine, and Rescue Towing for sponsoring Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. And thank you for listening. What a nice Monday we have to kick off the new work week. I hope everyone has a fantastic and productive Monday. We'll chat again tomorrow. It's time for today's Lucky Land Horoscope with Victoria Cash. Life's gotten mundane, so shake up the daily routine and be adventurous with a trip to Lucky Land. You know what they say, your chance to win starts with a spin. So go to LuckyLandSlots.com to play over 100 social casino-style games for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Get lucky today at LuckyLandSlots.com. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply.